mid-April and winter's almost over at the Pioneer Generation Station near Williston, North Dakota. Crews are still using insulated blankets to keep the ground warm enough to work. The blankets have a hose inside with water heated by a diesel-fueled boiler. Craig Meilenberg is based in Electric's construction coordinator on site. The goal normally it, before a winter gets in is to get out of the ground. That means get all your concrete done and all your underground piping and the electrical duct banks, things like that. We didn't get it all done, so we've, we've been fighting this winter. I mean, it's been a struggle. Mylenberg says even things out of the ground need to be cared for differently. Crews are warming up cable before they pull it. That'll keep it from cracking in the cold. A lot of times those cables are pulled several in one conduit, so if you have one that fails in there, it's hard to get another one just one cable in there sometimes. So it's just a lot of little things that you learn from doing construction in the wintertime up north there. Pioneer Generation Station is a 45 megawatt natural gas fueled power plant. It's simple cycle and pretty quick to build. Everything comes in components and you basically hook them together and away you go. So the, but yeah, it's the size is a big thing as far as time. At this point in construction, they're doing oil flushes and getting ready for commissioning. Part of that being backfeed from the transmission grid into the power plant. Crews are still working in the administration building and maintenance shop. The control room is ready for its computers. Systems are in place to bring in the natural gas and the anhydrous ammonia used for environmental controls. Myron Steckler is based in Electric's project manager. The uh, emissions control on these units are we have both an SCR and a COR to remove uh, both NOx and CO. And we use anhydrous ammonia as a catalyst for the SCR. And most likely we'll, uh, we're just looking at where we're going to get the uh, anhydrous ammonia from, to supply from, and most likely will come from our uh, Dakota Gasification Company. Construction on this plant started in June 2012 and the plant is planned to be commercial a year later. At Pioneer Generation Station with producer Jared Barnhart, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.